This is Riding Hungry, brought to you by Butler Lexus of South Atlanta. Woo! This is sweet. There he is. How are you, brother? Good to see you, buddy. Good to see you, my friend. Mark Aram, he is riding hungry. What do you think of the uh, ride? I like it. And you know, my cars are filled with dog hair because my dog, so it's rare to have a car that's nice <laughs> immaculate. And, <clean laughs> and a great color. This really cool interior, which is like two different colors, and they outside that little, I call it, I don't know, it's like a green. Hunter green. Hunt Hunter green, my friend. Dude, look at you. Yeah, buddy. Hunter <laughs> green. How many years has Mark Aram been talking about the streets of Atlanta? Since August of 97. That's 24 years? 24 years of guiding folks around these, these streets. Tell me about growing up in what, Connecticut, right? In Connecticut. What was the food vibe in the Aram household? Was it My mom was and is an amazing cook. What were the top three Mrs. Aram dishes? Homemade matzo ball soups, number one. Okay. Unsurpassed, it's fantastic. <laughs> Honestly, number two is her uh, bolognese. She would usually do uh, a ziti. Or ziti? Like a, yeah, like a yeah, tubular big, noodle. Okay, no, I know what it is. Yeah. <laughs> He said, this guy's gonna come on my show, he's gonna tell me what a ziti is. Just, this is probably not her best and most fancy dish, but like a good shepherd's pie. Oh my God, no. shepherd's pie is what? The mashed potato, the ground beef. Peas, peas, peas right? it's just, it's oh, just home. Yeah. That's home. Yeah. I think we're similar in that we get excited oh, for yeah. a meal. Oh right? yeah. The greatest memories in my life, the greatest uh, thrill for me is being around a table. Let's talk about where we're going today. Okay. Well, you were nice enough to say steak, <laughs> kind of like you do with your wife, where you let her make the call. <laughs> you are smarter, yeah. more well, knowledgeable. I wouldn't say that. Be better looking, I don't know smarter. <laughs> um, so, we're going to Gus's Fried Chicken in downtown Atlanta. WSB, the definition of great local broadcast. What's the energy out of that place that makes it different from just about any other TV station in America? Generations have grown up with WSB radio and WSB television, right. and you have that legacy to live up to. You're talking about people that are not just anchors, they're like anchored in the, in the culture of the city. You and Fred Blankenship. My man. In the morning. <laughs> your whole thing about with rap lyrics. Yeah, you know, I'm a big old school hip hop fan. Yeah. And just for my own uh, benefit, I'd say, I wonder if I can fit that lyric into a traffic report. Right. And no one knew. Mark, triple team traffic. Fred, I'm six foot tall, I got hazel eyes, my traffic reports contain no lies. Mm -hmm. And then they hired Fred, and Fred caught on. And once in a while, someone would catch him and like, I heard that Biggie lyric. And then when Fred came aboard, he would do it as well. In a toss, in a toss in to a me, toss. in a toss to weather. That right. was how he was right. able to record right. We're talking about delays right now on Georgia 400. And if you don't know, now you know about those. Mark. Yeah, Fred, I know you thought birthdays were the worst days, but I think Thursday might be the worst days. Who are your uh, top three old school rappers? Number one is A Tribe Called Quest. Yep. Number two, Mob Deep. And number three is KRS-One. He has some of the, the, the deepest lyrics of all. All right, and now you're sitting in afternoon drive on WSB with the number one radio show in Atlanta. Explain to people, what is the show? We're gonna give you your news, you get your weather, you get your traffic, the necessities, but in between there, we're gonna talk about everyday stuff. So what's the most fun thing about the show? I think the, the thing that has resonated the best yes. with the audience mm -hmm is Millennial Match Game. So explain what that is. We have a, uh, a Millennial yeah. on the show, and then we have callers as contestants, and the callers have to guess whether or not the Millennial will know X, Y, and Z. It's one way to rock and roll. That was perfect, thanks buddy. All right, we're here, the famous Gus's Fried Chicken. Look how crispy this sucker is, right? It's almost too, Pretty to eat. But I know. I'm gonna eat the heck I know. Out we're of gonna it. eat the heck out of it. So look at the heat coming off. I'm, I'm, Size can make or break a place. Oh, of course, my dude. Opinion. When you think of fried chicken, what towns do you think of? I think Memphis. Memphis. I think Nashville. Atlanta, though. So Atlanta has emerged in the barbecue scene, emerged in the fried chicken scene. Soul food. It's just another example of like how we are absolutely elevating our game. 
Tell me the first thing you think of when you're biting into this crispy fried chicken. Uh, the, the first bite into the skin is a game changer. The skin is just perfectly surrounding the juicy meat. My absolute combo, baked beans, coleslaw, always. You, you hit the nail on the head. I mean, it's baked beans and coleslaw. I was kind of disappointed when you grabbed that I know. plate. The it's my show, it's my show. <laughs> the chicken's the headliner. Here's what I'm gonna do when I come back to Gus's. I'm gonna get the combo. But my move is, I'm gonna pay for two additional sides. Right. How do you feel about a fried pickle? Here. I'm kind of a pickle purist. Pickle. So what? So what does that mean to be a? <laughs> to me, a pickle it's is is the, a sacred. perfect food. It's, it's uh, low in calories. Yeah. It's delicious. High it in flavors. Up, high in flavors. So you don't mess with perfection by frying it. But I mean, I'll eat them. I'm just not ordering. Gus's fried chicken, real southern deliciousness. Mark Aram, thanks for riding hungry, buddy. We're not riding hungry no more. My man. You know it. <laughs>